He would use the slow motion controls on the camera here and over here, and it would just move the telescope in tiny little increments, and he could work that star. So this is very significant because it basically completes the, the, the first reconnaissance of the solar system. It completes the, uh, the initial look-see, as it would, uh, of, of being able to go and see the planets of the solar system. Uh, we've done that with Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. We've visited Mercury. Uh, we have orbiters uh, around Mars. And so this actually uh, is a real pinnacle achievement of the U.S. space program. The New Horizons spacecraft will blast past Pluto, taking pictures of everything it can see. And so that's Pluto, that's Charon, and that is the other moons of Pluto. Uh, there are four other moons of Pluto. Uh, it's going to be at a breakneck speed of about 150 football fields per second. This is today's uh, weather. Uh, it's, uh... This is a huge day for science and astronomy. It's been a generation since Voyager 2 ticked off close-up views of four planets in the solar system, the giant planets, all the way out to Neptune. We had to wait another generation to get to Pluto in our first close-up look at the outer part of the solar system. So this is, this is an event that all of the up-and-coming scientists who will succeed us in exploration of the universe in our own world, this is the first time they've seen this take place, and it's tremendously exciting and inspiring and good for humanity. 250, 300,000 miles long. Same scale, the Earth is 8,000. Oh my goodness. And the little flares coming, like the little red parts coming yeah, out of it. Yeah, those are prominences, yep.